Good morning, Happy Valley, and welcome back to another edition of the Penn State 365 Podcast. I'm your host, Richie O'Leary, and today, doing a quick instant reaction, some bad news for Penn State on the recruiting front. Uh, 2025 Florida safety uh, slash athlete slash cornerback, whatever you want to call him. Um, Antonio Branch Jr. has decommitted from Penn State following a visit to Colorado last weekend and has flipped his commitment to the Buffaloes. Uh, this is a, it's a little bit of a blow. It's not, I'm I'm not going to lie to you. He was a pretty good prospect. He was a borderline four star. I actually thought he might get bumped up to four star status in our, our next update that's coming in the next couple weeks. But yeah, I mean, um, it shouldn't be too shocking though, because, uh, we reported that he earned a Colorado offer a couple weeks ago. And the minute he earned it, we reported, uh, uh, immediately on happy Valley insider that he was going to take a visit out there. And we all know James Franklin's rule when it comes to visits um, <clears throat> for at least committed prospects. If you're already committed, you can't go on any other visits. It's simple as that. Now, that rule kind of changes a little bit when it comes to the higher-ranked kids like Alvin Henderson, for example, former Penn State commit, uh, ended up committing to Auburn and flipping, but visited Auburn while committed to Penn State. That's a kid that you can't really afford to lose. Um, so you kind of let like the higher-ranked kids do that. But in terms of Antonio Branch um, – it's another DB. They're pretty, they're pretty solid at DB at safety right now. I mean, I know they want another one, and we'll we'll talk about a couple names that could pop up and fill that uh, that void from Antonio Branch being gone. But Braswell Thomas is a damn good safety on the New Jersey that's gonna that's already committed uh, committed back in late June, and uh, I know he's injured right now in his high school season. He's missing his entire senior season in high school, but. Uh, He's a damn good prospect in his own right. He's a four-star. He's a top-ranked kid, technically an athlete, plays wide receiver and DB for his, for his high school team or used to. Um, so it's it's going to be interesting to see kind of where they go with this. Um, it's still a solid recruiting class. It's not a top 10 class that a lot of guys want, but it's a top 15 right now. It's actually number 13 currently. When the rankings updates come out, I think you'll see some guys drop, um, but I also think you'll see some guys rise. So it's probably going to stick around that top 15 range for the next update. And then the final update before signing day, I think it will end up finishing as a top 20 class. And I know, again, I know this isn't the, the greatest class in the world. It's not phenomenal. But I think there's a lot of good pieces in there. You have some good running backs and uh, Tyke Hayes and Jabri Coleman. Uh, solid offensive line room. Owen Alcieni is a name to keep an eye on. Michael Troutman is going to be a damn good center. I've gotten to watch him a couple times at DePaul. Um, some good defensive linemen, of course, Deion Barnes is a hell of a class. Um, and this is technically missing Max Granville, who was a four star that committed in early enrolled, but overall, it's still a solid clash despite Antonio Branch's decommitment, but it does sting a little bit because they wanted two safeties in this class. They passed on a couple other guys in the past to get Branch, to get Braswell Thomas on board. So now where do they kind of go next? That's where things get a little bit interesting. I'm going to pop it up real quick. Uh, my screen right now. Um, one name to keep an eye on, and then this would be kind of funny a little bit because, um, you know, damn well, this would annoy the hell out of Pittsburgh fans if uh, this one were to happen. But Elijah Dotson <clears throat> from Belleville, Michigan. Now, this is a school that Penn State's very familiar with. It's a school that James Franklin stops at every time that they're out in Michigan, whether it's playing Michigan State or Michigan out in uh, the Midwest. But uh, <clears throat> it's also the same school as Jamari Budin, uh, Budden, sorry, if you remember him. He uh he's got some, he's been committed to Pittsburgh since May, so it's going to take a little bit. I'm just taking a quick glance at his offer list. So Penn State did offer him. He did go to campus twice. Uh, he wasn't a take at the time. Now I know he's listed as a cornerback, but six two one seventy five screams safety to me. Uh, you watch his tape. He has future safety skills. Now you can get away with playing cornerback at that size. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I I just really think he slots better at that safety spot. Got it's been to campus for a game day visit. Been to campus for a spring visit. And then things kind of tailed off because they were doing well with other safety prospects. So, uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's a mouthful, but that is, a, that is one to keep an eye on. Uh, the other name I'm going to pop up right now, not ranked technically, or not, I shouldn't say technically, not ranked yet, will be ranked in our newest update coming out soon, is uh, Grant Grayton. Safety prospect, Big Ten commit, committed to Minnesota back in late July following an immediate offer. Um, doesn't have a ton of offers, not the sexiest name out there, but he is from a school that Penn State is very familiar with in good counsel. Uh, we know Landon Tegwell, um, who's been pretty, uh, pretty popular lately on Twitter. Uh, Mike Wallace back in 2009. So it, it is a school that Penn State 
is very active with. Um, so that's another name to keep a close eye on. Other than those two at the moment, though, that's it's really it. This is kind of this just happened today. We did expect it to happen eventually, because like I said, once you visit, you can't. Once you are committed, you cannot visit other schools. It's like <laughs> the best way to compare it basically is uh, it's like having a girlfriend and being like, hey, I'm still going to go on dates and just see what else is out there. That's just not how it works, um, especially with a school like Penn State, where they're only going to take a limited amount of kids. Uh, they want you to remain committed. They want you to be solidly committed. Now, Branch being a Florida kid, this happens quite a bit um, with Florida kids, especially when you're recruiting them all the way to the Northeast. Mind you, Colorado is nowhere near Florida either. So we'll see if that commitment even sticks. But uh, Deion Sanders uh, is not afraid to throw around some NIL money. And if uh, if that's what it takes at the end of the day, I mean, it, it is what it is. But uh, I do think it is a little bit of a blow, but really not that bad of a blow because they still have a whole secondary unit coming in that's pretty solid between Darius Dixon, who's a top 50, top 60 kid. Jameer Joseph should be a top 50 kid. Freak out of New Jersey. Um, Xavier Thomas is a solid uh, little slot corner, nickelback. And then um, I'm trying to think who else. Oh, Brassel Thomas. I forgot about Brassel Thomas. Uh, I mentioned before, Jersey kid. He's a super freaky athlete. They got him tested. They tested him out in summer. He uh, camped really well in front of the coaches, and that was it. So still some solid DBs committed. Um, two names to keep an eye on, Elijah Dotson from Michigan, Grant Grayton from Good Counsel. Just two early names to keep an eye on. I'm sure we're going to have a lot more names that are going to appear on the board soon. Um, but that's really it. Kind of a shorter episode today just because uh, it <laughs> literally just happened. But uh, I'm sure we'll talk more about it on the Penn State 365 podcast soon. And if you're not on HappyValleyInsider.com's forums, the the Lions Den over there, the go-to spot for all the recruit scoop, team news, et cetera, anything that involves Penn State athletics, not just the football team, but wrestling, basketball, et cetera, we have it on there. Uh, we had the Mason Blackwood info before anyone else. We had a bunch of other commits this uh, this summer before anyone else. So definitely check that out. If you're interested, um, just comment on the video down below on our YouTube channel. Shoot me a DM on Twitter at, at Penn State Rivals or on Instagram, and I'll send you a promo code for a free month. Um, so definitely check it out. But, yeah, that's really all we got right now. Just a quick little instant reaction uh, to Antonio Branch, not decommitment, flip to Colorado, and it's kind of who they're going to look at next. So stay tuned for another episode of the Penn State 365 podcast. Signing off.